All right, this video is on assumptions and cruelty. Um, there's a gentleman named Andrew Orth. He uh, made some promises he didn't keep. Um, I did not remove him from my Facebook list for not telling the truth. The way I figure it, life happens. He's not the only one life happened to. But here's what Andrew wrote. It's uh, Donald Trump shaking hands with Benjamin Netanyahu. He typed, An Antichrist gets a section of Syria and Palestine that was stolen by Israel, named after him by Benjamin Hitler Netanyahu, Israel's corrupt, genocidal, and illegitimate prime minister. Well, that's all very speculative in my personal opinion, but opinions don't matter, do they? The funny part is, it's in the Golan Heights. I typed back, naming a town in Golan Heights after him? If it's in Golan, it's deserted. How is Ben a Hitler? Andrew typed back, his genocide of the Palestinian people. Look into Israel. It's a modern U.S. sanctioned Nazi Germany. Complete with ghettos and death camps. I replied, or he also typed, This is all biblical prophecy. All three Abrahamic branches and something depend on the events that have transpired in Israel since 2018 and prior. ISIS' stated goal was to bring about the end times. The confused want to create hell on earth to coax God back. Even in a godless universe, belief drives action. So if people believe that doing great evil will inspire God to show up, then they do that. It's a fucking shame is what it is. He's right about that. Now, for me, a lot of this stuff that he typed, I didn't get to read because I was using it on my phone, and my phone could take up to four days to deliver any message that you guys sent, unless you send it in text, in which case my phone just has to be on, and it might only take a couple hours to get here. But my reply was, he isn't committing genocide. The man was nearly overthrown by his own people after refusing to send fighter jets to bomb the school Chechnyan rocketeers were firing from. Do you know how Israel started? 100,000 Jewish survivors of the Holocaust bought land in Palestine. 20,000 of them agreed to live under Palestinian law. The rest were still in Europe and Russia. The Palestinians killed them all then resold the land to more Jewish people and tried again. This time, the Jewish people were armed with German Mausers. You should see what the Egyptians did to the Palestinians. They did some pretty fucked up stuff, I'm going to tell you what. Makes Israel look like the Easter Bunny. Um, Palestine was surrendered by Egypt after the Six Days War to Israel who gave it to the Palestinians, and the Palestinians were not okay with this. They asked for all of Islam to take part in genocide against the Israeli people. Not every Palestinian agreed with that, but it was a great moral majority at the time. I have friends, had friends, I uh, knew people that were in the Holocaust and moved to Israel immediately afterwards. Um, well, not immediately afterwards, but I also know Palestinians that were alive at the time. They tell very conflicting stories, but you can see how each one of them has their own opinions and why they have those opinions. Anyway, we'll get back to what I was typing. Um, Palestine has three governments, and they do. They're all three at war with each other all the time, and Israel doesn't really know which one it's dealing with which is very confusing for everybody, because they just want to think of Palestine as one nation that's being jackknifed or booted to the throat. It's, uh, good luck in the Balkans as well, I might add. Um, 
Palestine has three governments. Most of the Palestinian terrorists, like rocketeers, aren't from Palestine. Many are from former Russian states like Georgia. Yes, Georgia is a Russian state as well as an American one, or used to be. It's its own country now, as I hear. Uh, Palestin Palestinians saw the food produced by Israeli people and thought there was good land to grow on, and they must have missed it somehow. In reality, the Israeli used large see-through tubes similar to the ones that go from your dryer to the outside of the house. Let me see. Except bigger. Israel gave the, this technology free of charge to the Palestinians, whose imams burned it all. If you guys know anything about Islam, you know that an imam is a religious leader. Not as in E-M-O-M, it's I-M-A-M. Um, Andrew typed back, Sean, it's funny how anti-religious you are, yet you defend a Jewish state who is persecuting and killing off an entire people. I'm very aware of their history. Their history isn't their present. You might want to remember this part, folks, because uh, he's saying that I'm defending a Jewish state. No, I'm defending the people of Israel. They have a right to live, same as the Palestinians, same as Americans, same as Chinese, same as Africans. Same as Russians. We're all human beings. And in here, I think he was trying to say that too, but he was so busy going out of his way to take everything completely out of context that he really didn't get that far. Um, also, the part where he's going off about how their history isn't their present. Um... He types, either you're racist towards the Palestinians or you're complacent in the face of evil as long as it's the religion that you choose to believe. I don't choose to believe any religion. So there he is making assumptions again. And then accusing me of being a racist. I didn't side with the Palestinians, now did I? I didn't side with the Israelites, now did I? But people have their assumptions, and that's what they base their decisions on. He also typed, Israel and Zionism actually goes against the Jewish faith. See, I've actually read all the religious books. They are not allowed to have a standing army. It goes against their covenant with God. The Jewish people are a faith, over 70% of which was acquired through religious conquest. Much like Islam. He didn't type much like Islam. I'm adding that because, yes, it is much like Islam. In order for a jihad to be declared, that's a holy war. The land must be Muslim first. The only way they can declare a holy war is to reclaim their ancestral lands, not to gain new lands. Um, let's see. And at least religious conquest is slightly nicer. No, it's not. It's not nicer than war. Because it is war. Most wars are fought over religion. Most. We find all sorts of other beliefs to blame it on so that we can claim that we're not going against the word of God. But in either event, it don't matter. Um... The Jewish nation and the Jewish people are not innocent. They never have been and they never will be. Well, that's pigeonholing. It sounds like somebody is being racist against the uh, Jewish people. Because he typed the Jewish nation. I wonder what percentage of people who live in Israel are actually Jewish. He says, they're not innocent, they never have been, and they never will be. So he's already assumed basically the same thing that we in America like to assume about homeless people and black people. They must be in the wrong because they're Jewish, they're black, or they're homeless. Huh. Thank you, Andrew. Um, 
It says, the Bible even has genocides written into it, as does the Torah and the Talmud. As you said, God hates Christians, or maybe he hates the Jews more, or maybe he hates us all because we give our faith to man-made structures and false idols as opposed to goodness. Oh no. My faith is in myself. It's the only thing I have faith in. It's difficult to have faith in anybody else or anything else because everything is temporary. Now, I said something similar to God hates Christians. I said he must hate Christians. He uh, made the Bible Belt and Tornado Alley the same place. He also flooded out the most Christian-occupied portions of the United States. It's true. Per capita, there's more uh, Christians in the three states that God decided to flood than all the other states. Per capita means if you have a hundred people, the percentage of each hundred people that will be of a certain type or mindset. Um, let's see. He also typed, you care that people send money to a burnt down church, but you don't care that people send money to a genocidal, to genocidal maniacs who subvert their own legal processes. I see where you stand now. There he goes, assuming some more. Very difficult to deal with someone who's already made up their mind, is it not? I typed, I believe in the right to live, regardless of religion, color, gender, or geographic location. So where do I stand? I am for both Palestinians and Israeli survival and right to live. I also know history. Ariel Sharon was the real tyrant of Israel. He was. Ariel Sharon is, uh, well, he was a prime minister for a time. He also was uh, part of the famous 101. This is a group of uh, Israeli terrorists. If, uh, if a synagogue was blown up, the 101 would go blow up six mosques. That's basically their job, to be worse terrorists than the terrorists against Israel. Um, Andrew wrote, One of the primary reasons why I really disagree with this philosophy, it is because that justifies everybody that hurt you, that justifies everybody that hurt me, because what that says is that if you were hurt, you were allowed to strike your aggressor, which I do not believe. I believe in turning the other cheek. That's something I'm against. People are always about turning the other cheek until it happens to them. Then they get very defensive. You'll get to read that here shortly too. Or I'll read it to you if you're not on my Facebook. Although it is public. Um, let's see. Which means you should seek to grow in power. This is what he's typing to me. Which means you should seek to grow in power only to ensure that no other people become harmed, but never to become the aggressor. When you are more powerful than your foe, any form of violence is just sadism. Well, I'm not more powerful than very many people. I'm a pretty small dude, and I got some physical disabilities that make me even smaller. Also, I do use my powers to protect people. No, I didn't want to use those curse words, but I used them, and people heard me because I used them. And any of these people in my life, let's say I get shot in the head tomorrow. I exposed enough predators that if anything happens to these people, they'll know who to go after. Um... I replied, at the time of the, uh, the time of the migration in the mid-1940s, now mind you, at, at this point in time, I'm still uh, not seeing most of what I just read to you, because a lot of the stuff that he was typing, I didn't re I wasn't able to even see it until I got in on my actual computer. Um, at the time of the migration in the mid-1940s, they were Jewish, not Israeli. Israel wasn't a nation yet. They became a nation in 1948, same year as the Marine Corps became their own branch of the military. 
as real as drone the distance of the rockets fired at them. When it was Russian RPG-7s fired at them, No Man's Land was only a thousand yards wide. Now it's 27 miles, the distance of the new Hamas rockets. If Israel wanted to commit genocide, it would take them three days to wipe out every Palestinian city. That's true. That's without nuclear weapons, by the way. Um, Palestinians are powerless to stop foreign terrorists from firing rockets from schools and shopping malls. Jewish settlers have even adopted suicide bombings in retaliation for rocket attacks. Um, that's not real well publicized. A man had a rocket hit his house that killed his kids, so he went over to a Palestinian city and blew himself up. Um, let's see. Jewish settlers have even adopted... Oh, right. Uh, I am on both sides when it comes to their right to live. I am on neither side when they are busy killing. Palestine is stuck between Israel and the holy war Palestine called for. I have the Quran next to me, the Bible as well. I read both daily. Sadly, the Palestinians are the ones dying over the foreign invasion of their land. Israel, Israeli bombs and Palestinian rockets don't discriminate between civilian and combatant, although they aren't actually Palestinian rockets. They are just fired from Palestine. Like I said, most of the rocketeers are from foreign Russian states. Many, are, many more are Muslims from as far off as the Philippines and South America. He typed back, LOL what? And then he typed, the Jewish people didn't manifest in the 1940s. Well, I didn't say they manifested in the 1940s. I said they bought land in Palestine from the Palestinians in the 1940s. And they didn't become the Israeli state until 1948. I didn't say they manifested in the 1940s. He's going out of his way to try to twist things as badly as possible. Dan Favorite did the same thing, which is why I cut him off. Andrew also typed, uh, the Jewish people didn't manifest in the 1940s. You are very confused. No, I'm not. I know the difference between the word Israeli the word Jewish and the word Hebrew. See, Jewish is the religion. Hebrew is the bloodline. And Israeli is the nation. I type back, I don't believe in turning the other cheek. I believe it is your right to defend yourself. I choose to defend myself with words and not physical violence. The Sinai and Golem Heights have not seen a year without killing since the dawn of recorded history. I think of it as one rich person separated from rich folks who hate them by a trailer park. Palestine is the trailer park. The terrorists on both sides have to go through the trailer park to get at each other. So the inhabitants of the trailer park get victimized, just like everywhere else. The rich destroy the lives of the poor because the poor don't have the means to defend themselves. I am not anti-Israel or anti-Palestine. I am pro-peace. I just happen to care a lot about history. Andrew typed, I care a lot about history too. You just like to cherry pick the parts that you like. Hmm, that's true. Everybody who's into history has a part that they like. I just happen to like all of the parts. It's important to learn. Those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. And those who know their history are probably not going to be listened to. So it doesn't matter, does it? Maybe I shouldn't have wasted my time on history, huh? He also typed, and I cannot assist anybody who is willing to strike people when they have the power. And with that being said, I'm going to be cutting off contact with you in the very near future. Really? Well, I don't remember writing or typing or saying anything in that about going and striking people or saying that it's okay. Matter of fact, I said exactly the opposite, did I not? So who is it that's confused? He also typed, Just remember that you literally invite the universe to harm you because you believe that might makes right. 
Actually, we live in a world where that's what most people think. I keep being of the mistaken belief that being a decent excuse for a human being will do something. I know that it's a mistaken belief, but I still fight for it because it's our rights, our constitution. Um, he also typed, just remember that you liter oh, uh, but you honestly believe in violence. I do not. Well, I see violence. I feel violence. People get violent with me a lot. Out of the, uh, over 30 times that I was assaulted last year, guess how many times I actually defended myself? Three. Three times. Once against the Boulder Police, once against the uh, staff at Clearview, and once against the uh, staff at the Longmont Hospital and the police at the Longmont Hospital. All three times I was assaulted for trying to make a report. Two of those times I was forcibly injected with drugs. So yes, I believe in violence. I also believe that it's wrong. But this guy is busy having his own assumptions and assuming the worst in me because it makes him feel better. He obviously had a bad day. He also typed, once you have the power, it's no longer a defense. It's an excuse in sadism, or an exercise in sadism. I'm beginning to see why people thought that you may have been involved with her murder. See? Right there, trying to go for a cheap spot, trying to go for a soft spot, thinking that's my underbelly. It's not. Let's see. I typed back, Andrew, you should reread what I typed. When I typed Jewish, I meant Jewish. When I typed Hebrew, I meant Hebrew. When I typed Israeli, I meant Israeli. The reply with the flag, that's one of a few of them up when he said that I was confused. The reply with the flag, you confused the words Jewish and Israeli. You went out of your way to twist what I typed into something it's not. That's the problem with the world we live in. Too many people looking for excuses, whatever they may be. He looked at me, he must want to hurt me. Or, he said my burger smells delicious, he probably wants to steal it for himself. In reality, I did not choose a national side or religious side. I chose the side of human life. But he's not going to stop there. He typed, I did read it. Israel has existed since before basically every modern nation. They've been conquered every now and again, but the nation has never faded. That nation was founded in genocide. It is literally written in their holy book. Um, Israel disbanded during the Roman occupation. Just prior to Jesus' birth, it wasn't a nation for almost 2,000 years. Um, he also typed, read the story of Samson fucking seriously. You chose the side that, see there he goes accusing me of choosing a side. You chose the side that favors your genetic leg legacy. What sickens me is that you honestly believe that it's different. My genetic legacy is mud. I'm a Russian, German, and Hebrew descent, but I got, Af I got ancestors from Africa, from Asia, because Russians do live in Asia, Europe, South America. I don't have any Native American blood in me so far as I know. However, we all have Persian blood, every one of us. I'm a mutt, and I'm proud of it. I'm also not religious. Now, my genetic legacy, which one of those would I choose? Because I have enough of each that I could really be Taoist, Buddhist, Zionist, Taoist, Taoist. Christian, Jewish, Muslim. I could really take my pick of religions based on my mutt heritage. Um, I typed, and this is, of course, 
I didn't see all this stuff before I typed this. Only a few of them were popping up at a time. I typed, that's not to say I don't do the same. Making bad assumptions, I mean. The less info we have, the worse our decisions are capable of being. You are the one who typed about history versus president, are you not? How does Samson fix current world affairs? You read what I typed and still think I chose a side? You have been assaulting my character and assuming my beliefs since you first replied. Again, I recommend rereading it. You are putting things there that aren't. I also typed, You are sickened at a position you assume I have. A position that is quite the opposite of what I typed. That's called assumption and opinion. Facts say li save lives. Assumptions and opinions can be used to save lives or take them. I prefer to stick to facts. My genetic lineage is mutt. He typed back, there are no assumptions there, uh, literally your words. I can take screenshots and I can circle everything for you if you don't have the memory to follow the conversation. He was pissed off already, so he wasn't following the conversation. He also typed, oh, uh, let me see. He also typed, I already have taken all the screenshots, and I like that. I typed back, by the way, Samson was well over 2,000 years ago. Chechnyan Rocketeers were last year. He typed, Sean, everyone just wants to make excuses, right? Just like you. Well, absolutely. I'm going to defend myself no matter what. It's the right thing to do. There's a lot of anti-homeless sentiment. There's a lot of anti-mentally ill sentiment. I've been dealing with a lot of this. Now, Andrew here, he's got Asperger's as well. He's autistic. I uh, type back to him, circling it is doing exactly what I find so offensive from Christianity. You notice this guy just prior in here was talking about basically picking and choosing what I wanted. Cherry picking, he called it. So I typed exactly, or circling it is doing exactly what I find so offensive from Christianity. Instead of reading it in context, they pick and choose the parts they want to reinterpret as you were trying to do. I believe my first comment hit your emotional overload button and it's been difficult for you to read over it. Also, I was using my phone earlier. Some of your replies don't show up until I got onto my computer. Your reinterpretation isn't the same thing as taking a side. Which side did you assume I took? He typed, I have literally read over everything you've posted. You want to justify the genocide of Palestinian people. Well, where did he get that? See, this is where I start believing that this guy might be schizophrenic. Um, because it favors your Jewish heritage and you are racist against Islam. Ha ha. There we go. Even more assumptions. I stick up for Muslims. I really do. I've never had a Muslim do me wrong. So how can I be racist against them? Also, Islam is not a race. It's not. He also typed, You want to point to the Holocaust 80 years ago, but you don't want to point to Samson. Well, I was talking about the formation of the Israeli state. How it came about. Recent history. We're talking about the current Jewish state and the current Israeli state. This guy doesn't really understand the difference between the two. For him, they're synonyms. The one coincides with the other. But they really don't. If you're Jewish, then you're a religious person. If you're Israeli, you live on a geographic location. If you're Hebrew, you're of a genetic bloodline. I'm a mutt. He typed... You get mad when people give money to rebuild the church, but you don't get mad when people send rockets to kill babies. 
I do get mad when people kill babies. It doesn't matter if it's a rocket or a bullet or a rock or drowning them or not feeding them or drugging them to death like they do in the system. He also typed, you're pro-peace as long as Israel gets to be supreme. There he goes. It must be about Israel. I must be on Israel's side. No, he was blindly hateful towards the Israelis from the start. What I'm saying is that this is not a situation that anybody should really be stepping into. I feel bad for the Israeli. I feel bad for the Palestinians. And they're not the only people I feel bad for. Um, he typed, I do pay attention when you talk and I do read what you write. I've been following you since you knew I existed because of your connection to the Natalie case. He also typed, apparently you don't know Israel's history because it was stolen from an already existing empire following World War I. No, it was following World War II, young man. He also typed, and it was founded on a genocide thousands of years ago. So, if your reasoning is that they should have their own nation because someone tried to genocide them 80 years ago, they tried to genocide and successfully genocide in another group of people, so they should not have that state. See, he's trying to justify his point of view that Israelis are not human beings, basically. Is that my assumption? Yes, it is an assumption, but it's based in sound fact of his opinions. Now, as far as the genocides go, you're going to have real difficulty finding a, a portion of land that hasn't had a genocide on it. He also typed, all of which you apparently find justified. Really? Where in any of this did I say that any of that stuff that he just typed is justified? He hadn't even typed that stuff yet. I typed, that's the eighth assumption of my opinions you took out of context. Claiming, claiming I justify anything is your assumption, not my intent. It says more about you than it does about me. I am for life, not genocide. You haven't once talked to me. So we are now having a communication issue based on your assumptions of what I typed and not what I actually typed. Like when you went off about the Jewish in the 1940s. I was typing about when, is, when Israel became a state in 1948 and about the genocide of Jewish settlers prior to 1948. It's history. Which ain't the same as telling you it's okay to kill Palestinians. He's still not reading anything I'm typing. You can tell by the stuff that he's replying. He typed, those Jewish settlers did not have a right to the land. I typed, you, you go again making assumptions and putting words where they aren't. That's called interpretation. A lot of people do this with the Bible. I have real difficulties with Russell because he does the same thing with the Bible. I like Russell. Actually, I love Russell. But we don't see eye to eye because he interprets, whereas I read what it says. Anyway, I typed, or he typed, uh, if you don't want someone to copy and paste what the fuck you're writing, and you don't want someone to literally say what you were saying, then they have to use what's called interpretation, dumb fuck. Well, there he goes, getting into the name calling. Imagine that. He also typed, which fucking form of communication do you want? Because you were doing neither. Ooh, he's all sorts of pissed off. I typed back, those Jewish settlers bought the land from the Palestinian government. It was less than six square miles. How is it they deserve to die because of what they paid for? It seems you are the one trying to justify genocide. Also, why is it you find it offensive for me to type about recent history? You keep trying to shove my words into into things that happened 2,000 plus years ago. You do know the Roman occupation isn't the same time, event, or people as the current conflict, right? He typed, Sean, that land was stolen. I'm gonna find you, steal all your fucking property, and when the government says that I'm allowed 
to do it, you're going to have to fucking take it. And when the police beat your ass because... Let me see. Because you honestly believe the shit that you're saying. Oh, um, when the police beat your ass because the state says it's okay, you're going to have to fucking take it because you honestly believe the shit that you're saying. And then he typed, you'll talk about the authority of the Jewish government, yet you'll spit on cops. I didn't spit on a cop. I should have, but I didn't. He also typed, I don't justify genocide. He just did. He just did. Because I don't recognize borders or ethnocentric identities. And I have a problem with those that believe that their group of people is better than another. Well, I don't have a group of people. My group of people is people. Black ones, white ones, yellow ones, red ones, and necrophiliacs looking for dead ones. The greatest of the sadists and the masochists too. Screaming, you hit me and I'll hit you. All right, it's probably not the right time for Dr. Hook. Anyway, he was also typing, you are all just piles of shit. You are all uh, going to die, and you won't even be dust in one million years. So suffering for any reason is never fucking justified, and you believing song is what causes suffering in your life. Huh, I don't know what he was supposed to be typing on that, but okay. I typed, see, you are angry, so you hear what you want to. I'm used to it. When did I spit on a cop? There you go making more assumptions and accusations. You were looking for an excuse to take something out of so out on someone who you believe can't defend himself. I'd rather find out what you are actually mad about than take insult after insult. I am willing to take your insults, I just don't think they do either of us any good. He typed back, you don't want to see history you want to see the glorification of your genetic legacy. I'm a mutt. You're damn right I love my genetic legacy. I'm part of everybody. I'm a mutt. M-U-T-T. -T. He also typed, You were really far too stupid in order to hold a conversation because you don't understand conceptual language. Hypotheticals and analogies and metaphors. Really? I've been typing hypotheticals, analogies, and metaphors. You remember the trailer park? Yeah. I wonder what that's all about. Apparently he doesn't understand hypotheticals, analogies, and metaphors. He typed, as a result, I really do hope you find something good in your life, but I highly doubt you will be, and then it says see more. I should have expanded that before I took pictures. I typed back, except which genetic legacy are you claiming to be mine? My ancestors were Russians, Germans, Jews, Africans. I'm a mutt. He typed, Sean, no, I don't care whether or not you can defend yourself because you were grass. T, no, I don't care whether or not you can defend yourself because you are the aggressor. Where was I aggressive? Good question. He also typed, Obviously, the only one that matters in this conversation, Jewish dumb fuck. Well, there he goes being anti-Semitic and name-calling. Yeah, I've been called worse. <laughs> He also typed, Sean Schwartz, and is an example to my lesson, I'm going to cut you out and block you. You have a very, very long police history. Because I have the power and I'm not going to become the aggressor, even though you are trying to provoke me to be one just like your beloved Israel. Gosh, one assumption after another. Yes, I see the Israeli people as people. I see the Palestinian people as people. 
if you got a problem with the Israeli people, well, that's on you, not me. If you got a problem with the Palestinian people, that's on you, not me. Anyway, um, I type back, ooh, an anti-Semite. I am not a Semite. You want someone to take your anger out on, I get it. I forgive you. Perhaps we can have a conversation someday, but someday isn't isn't today, is what I meant to write, but I wrote the day instead. I also typed, you are too hateful at the moment. He typed back, dude, I still, dude, I beat up anti-Semites. Isn't this the dude who was typing about turning the other cheek? Yes, it was. Now he's talking about beating people up. He typed, you were a piece of shit supremacist. I was wrong before God really does hate you, and you've gotten everything you've deserved. Cool. That's all right. He didn't keep his word. Eh, I'm used to that, too. I typed, there you go again. Accusing me, typing about violence after pretending you turned the other cheek. I wasn't trying to provoke you. I was trying to calm your mind. But you had your mind made already. You also never showed up when you said you would. And never spoke with me like you said you would. Again, I forgive you. Now it's a whole bunch of stuff that he was sending me before he blocked me. I don't know what it all says. It doesn't matter. Um... Now, there's another post that I made that he was commenting on. He started commenting on this one first. Um, he, I typed, if you hate black people, unfriend me. If you hate white people, unfriend me. If you hate men, unfriend me. If you hate women, unfriend me. If you hate gay people, unfriend me. If you hate straight people, unfriend me. What do all these people have in common? They are all people. If you can't see them as people, you aren't a person. So a guy named Bruce typed back, you know, what I hate is hate. Very good. Me too. Andrew typed, if you hate Palestine, unfriend me. If you hate Christianity, unfriend me. If you hate those who have hurt you, unfriend me. If you would rather repeat and invest in historical hatred, unfriend me. If you hate, unfriend me. Well, he got awful hateful for somebody who's typing that kind of stuff, isn't he? I type, there you go again with bad assumptions. Accusing me of hating Palestine for sharing some history. You were looking for an excuse. You had to manufacture one. I'm pro-Palestine and pro-Israel. All people deserve the right to life. Geographic location does not make one person's life worth more than another's. I don't actually hate anyone. I do, however, vent at the abuse I endure. I have read posts where you do the same. I am against the religion of Christianity because of its history of mass genocide. Same reason I am anti-Nazi. I hate cruelty. I hate excuses for cruelty. But I will never tell you it's not okay to defend yourself. I am pro-self-preservation. I am for protecting your loved ones. I hate very much. I hate how the Christian community blames their sins on others as a religious marker. That is a staple of the Christian religion, by the way. Um, I have never been harmed by, by a Muslim, but I'm against Islam. And that's true. No Muslim has ever harmed me. But I'm against all organized religions. I believe no matter what religion you are, you're a human being. I am just as friendly with Muslims as I am with Christians. When I meet Christians, I want to assume that they're a real Christian. So I treat them how I want to be treated. Let's get back to the reading of this, though. Um, my ancestors were Hebrew, and I'm against that religion, too. Religion is mind control. I remember getting slapped across the face as a child for having an imaginary friend. The woman who slapped me was Christian. 
She taught me that adults are excuse-making hypocrites. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, except I refuse, just like Jesus. I don't like religion. I don't think Jesus was a god. But he is still my favorite hero of any book. That's true. <laughs> he typed, Sean, so quit being so militantly misotheist. I'm not militant. But, as long as we're making insults, right? He typed, you are part of creation, which means if you have a problem with it, you have a problem with yourself. Go out and fix the problem. I'm doing my best. Go out and get the power to fix the problem, or don't complain about your lot in life. With all due respect, I'm working with not even one-tenth what this man has. This man has a roof over his head. He's got a vehicle. He's got a girlfriend. So he's got emotional support. He's got financial assistance. He's got a roof over his head. He's got a place where he can plug in. He's got a place where he can have privacy if he needs it. He also typed, I'm not against any religion because religion is just a mental construct, a tool that people use to control themselves and others. It is one that controls used in order to subvert someone's personal autonomy or health that it becomes a problem. He also typed, Sean, love is unconditional. Otherwise, it is not love. We'll see. Me and him agree fully on that. I still love Natalie. I still love Maddie. I still love Alicia. I still love Miss Jerry and Lana. I still love my older brother and my little sister. He also typed, If you have room in your heart to hate, then you have no room in your heart to love. Because in that word, love and hate are directly connected. So all it takes is one bad experience and your love becomes hate. That isn't love. Well, he just gave us a good example of that, didn't he? So apparently he's a hater and not a lover. He has no love in his heart by his own definition. <laughs> Me? I understand that I can love someone and still be angry with them. My older brother, him and uh, an old boss of mine named Doug Cowden, they ripped me off for quite a bit of money. Yes, I was angry with them about it. Yes, I still love my brother. Let's see, he also typed... I love everyone, even those that hurt hurt me, and I pray for everyone, even those that hurt others, because I actually seek to benefit all men, not just my genetic legacy. See, he keeps going back to that, thinking it's going to hurt me. It's not. I'm a mutt. Oh, I just lost my place just by turning the phone sideways. A lot of stuff to go through, isn't it? Let's see. Um, then he typed, I've extended the hand to my enemies and I've loaned money to those that hate me. That's what defines a good and a bad person. Loaning money. Ah, see, money to him is what makes you a good or bad person. Huh. I've saved the lives of people I can't stand to be around. But I'm still a bad person, apparently. He also typed, You will always choose whatever favors your emotional state. You've never really conquered your mind, which is why you are much more frequently in trouble than I am. Nope. That is incorrect. His mind is obviously troubled. Very troubled. Otherwise, he wouldn't be reading into it the things that he read into it. However, that's not the only issue with it. Let me see if uh, I can find it again. There it is. I am constantly in trouble because I'm homeless. Something this guy's never going to have to worry about. He's got family. So it doesn't occur to him that he could ever become me. Of course, his family could all die in card car accidents, heart attacks, 
murders, whatever, and he could end up alone. He could end up getting karma for the judgment that he passed. I hope not. He typed, I am not perfect, no one is, though I accept my prejudice and bigotries so that I may work through them and become better. You seem to want to obsess about your pain, and as such, the rest of your life is going to be hell, because there is no Jesus coming to save you, and there is no God coming to save the Palestinians, and there is no God of the Jewish people. As a result, when you decide that some group of people has more rights than another, you were just out of a shitty, just of a shitty person, so that I may work through them and become better. Sure. So basically, he just spent two hours typing a bunch of hypocrisy at me. Going out of his way to be assumptive and brutal and threatening. It's okay for him, right? But it's not okay for me. And now, if I was to assault him verbally, then he would go grab his buddies and they would gang up on me. That's the way people of that mentality work. I needed help to defend myself against people of that exact mentality. I either agree with you 100% or I'm a bad person. I either agree to your slander of my name or I'm a bad person and you slander me further and call me more names. What does America come to?